The Bears had a variety of different news for their roster on Wednesday, September 25th, as it sounds like Keenan Allen will be returning this Sunday against the LA Rams, a big plus for this offense. But some concerning news about right tackle Darnell Wright, and guess the offensive line just can't catch a break. Not only that, the Bears made a few roster moves over the last 24 hours and lots of things going on at Hallis Hall. I'm here to break it all down for you. Hello, everyone. I'm welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. My name is Nick Brody, and as always, thank you for tuning in. Before we begin today's show, like this video if you're happy to hear Keenan Allen is back on the field as of Wednesday and could play this upcoming Sunday, along with commenting the five offensive linemen you want to start for the Chicago Bears this upcoming Sunday with Wright potentially out. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for all Chicago Bears news and updates. Let's get to 18,400 before week four against the Rams. So the big news of today is that veteran wide receiver Keenan Allen is limited today at practice and as a a very positive attitude that he is going to play this upcoming Sunday against the Rams. According to Matt Eberflus, Keenan Allen was limited today at practice dealing with a heel injury and coming off a personal injury. Happy to see not only that Allen's health is doing better from that perspective, but also that everything is okay from a personal side of things. Sometimes players, players are all humans too, guys. Things happen. He was able to come back clearly. He didn't travel to Indianapolis because of the severity of the matter going on in his personal life. So I'm happy to hear everything is going well for Keenan Allen so far. And I hope that if he sees us, Keenan, we were thinking about you. We hope everything's okay and happy to hear you're doing well. But at the end of the day, too, Caleb Williams is super pumped about this news as well, guys. He said in his uh, interview today that, quote, his special talent of getting open in even a phone booth is going to be great for this offense, unquote. So Caleb Williams could be in for a big game again this upcoming Sunday, which I just also want to say too, guys, it's been three games with the rookie. Give him a minute. He's getting in his system. And I'm pretty sure you and I both would love a Bears quarterback to throw for 363 yards, right? He did just that. He didn't have any offensive line help. Once he gets some help, this guy's going to be great. So I'm happy to hear that uh, Caleb Williams is also in positive and happy spirits about this situation because Keenan Allen is key for this team. And also I want to see that fourth round pick be absolutely worth it. But the Bears are also still a little banged up at the moment. Darnell Wright is dealing with a back injury that he suffered against the Indianapolis Colts. It is currently listed day-to-day -day according to Matt Eberflus. This leads to the possibility of a situation where we might have a different right tackle for the first time in over a season and a half this upcoming Sunday against the Rams, which is okay because the Rams do not have a very solid rush defense. I'm just putting that out there. But this would lead to two different possible scenarios. One could be Nate Davis will go back to right guard and Matt Pryor will go from right guard to right tackle, which is great that he has versatility to play both. Or for me, and this is the one I personally want, is keep Matt Pryor at right tackle, keep Nate Davis off the field, and put Karan Amagaji, our third-round pick rookie, out there at right tackle. And who knows, we might see something we weren't expecting in an absolute spark. I'm not saying that this would be the answer for everything, but Karan shows that he can play. We might be able to move him to right guard. Things might start going in a really positive direction. Matt Eberflus also said uh, uh, the reason why Matt Pryor is in both of these situations is because Matt Eberflus said, quote, the, uh, we all thought he did a great job against Indianapolis for the most part, unquote. So happy to see he's getting recognized for it. PFF says he had a 65.6 overall grade. Not terrible, but not great either, but better than what we've had out there. Matt Eberflus did say, though, that the team is hopeful that Ryan or Darnell Wright will play this upcoming Sunday against the Rams. So something to monitor, but he did not practice today, so starting the week off on the bench. Then from more injury news, Terrell Smith, our second-year defensive back out of Minnesota, dealing with a hip injury, did not practice. Slight hurt to our secondary, though we are very deep at that position and all of our starters are good. So I think we're okay there, but wishing him a speedy recovery as always because Kevin Byard, our safety, along with Jaquan Brisker, have been balling out this season. Byard specifically, five pass deflections and 13 tackles so far. This guy is doing everything that we needed Eddie Jackson to do the last couple of years. So I'm happy to hear that Kevin Byard is also on the field and doing well because I know he had that injury scare in the preseason. But wishing Terrell Smith an overall speedy recovery. I hope to see him back soon. And then someone that I ironically was going to talk about in tomorrow's video, but we can talk about him today and maybe even tomorrow as well. Darrell Taylor, the guy that we traded with the Seattle Seahawks for a six-round pick who had a monster opening game for the Chicago Bears, 
did not practice on Wednesday due to illness. It feels like something's going around in the Chicago land area right now. But Darrell Taylor has been quiet since his massive eight tackle game in week one against Tennessee Titans, where he had two sacks and a forced fumble as well. I want to see him bring that heat again against uh, the LA Rams this upcoming Sunday at Soldier Field. Clearly, he likes playing there, and I I would too if I had some of the greatest fans in the world cheering for me. But maybe maybe overall, it's just a small little flu. He's back tomorrow, anything like that. But illness, we've seen this before. Guys are usually good to go on Sunday. Just take some vitamin C, just lay out in the sun, get some rays, hit the sauna, sweat it out. You'll be good to go, my guy. I hope he gets over this illness soon and in the uh, right amount of time. It gets a chance to ball out this Sunday against a very weak L.A. Rams line and make Matthew Stafford know that even though he doesn't play for the Lions anymore, the Chicago Bears still don't like him very much. Now, before I get more into today's episode, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Authentico Organic Tequila. Based out of Guadalajara, Mexico, and a Chicago-based startup, the best new tequila on the market, in my personal opinion, comes with absolutely fantastic flavor. It's 100% USDA organic, no additives. It's great. I never feel hungover. It's just good to put in your margaritas because it doesn't have that kick that you're looking for. But Some people like that with tequila, but it's subtle. You get enough of it, but it's also like, wow, I can deal with this. And not going to lie, guys, it's pretty good stuff. Keith Van Horn loves it too. We'll have him on the show in a couple weeks here. But yes, make sure you go to the link in the description now to find Authentico near you and enjoy game day even more. But quickly, also going through things is that the Chicago Bears made some roster moves over the last 24 hours. They signed cornerback Amir Speed to the practice squad, releasing Roe Torrance. And then they worked out a ton of people, including two offensive linemen. Those two offensive linemen, Tremaine Akram, who was last with the LA Rams. On top of it, too, they worked out Austin Pleasance, a undrafted rookie free agent. Then a few other people, running back Joe Funk, running back Toey, uh, Tony Jones, running back Anthony McFarland, quarterback Chris Olagakud, who we talked about yesterday, and then tight end Deegan Corianto. So a lot of guys coming in. Obviously, no one's really banged up. The Bears are just working out guys to see what they potentially could have in case of an emergency. But good to see that they're working out linemen. I know that makes everyone in this chat pretty darn happy, and I would love to hear your guys' reaction to finally some linemen. So I don't think there's going to be any quick changes, but – if there is, I hope that Ryan Poles goes back and watches my trade video for offensive linemen. And I know, I know this. I want to say this for those still listening, is that yesterday's video about trading Tyson Bajan, I just want to put out there, guys, it's week three of Caleb Williams. I don't think Tyson Bajan's a bad quarterback. I love the guy. But in trading Bajan, you are getting the offensive line help the Bears need to protect Williams from getting hurt. I know that was a lot of people's big scenario there. On top of it, too, I don't know if Bajan would do any better with this system. Remember, this is a different system from last year, so Bajan is just at the same speed as Kale Williams. Also, Bajan went against the twos and threes during the preseason. So I just, there was a big argument yesterday, and I hope my point got across, and I still want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below, but I would not start Tyson Bajan right now. I love the guy. I would use him as a trade asset to improve the offensive line, but again, would love to hear your guys' thoughts because, Man, people were not happy about that yesterday. So obviously, would love to hear you guys' thoughts. But thank you, as always, for tuning into this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. Love hearing from you guys all, as always. Happy to hear Keenan Allen is coming back. Hope Don Ro now writes okay. But the door always opens, and there's a lot of opportunities for the young studs on this team. But with that, thank you, as always, for tuning in this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. My name is Dick Brody, and as always, bear down, baby.